All right, so today I'm just gonna be doing a quick overview and demo of my home theater sub here. It's not really much of a theater, it's more just like a 5.1 surround system in a living room, but either way. Uh, the driver is a Sundown Audio X15 V2 dual 2 ohm voice coil. Uh, the cabinet is 4.5 cubic feet, 20, sorry, curved slot port tuned to 28 hertz, 12 gauge wire in between the coils and to the amp, and the amplifier is a Behringer iNuke 3000, that of which is hidden down in the basement. It's rather bulky and fan is quite loud, but it's going to be running a 100 hertz to 5 hertz test tone, or sine sweep, sorry, through it, just so you can kind of see some of the excursion. I can't really um, show you how well it sounds and how well it does in movies and music um, with just my simple cell phone camera here, but I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough and a little sine sweep for you. But just some quick facts about it. Um, I told you about the enclosure, but I went with Sundown, a Sundown driver, just because I've had excellent experiences with them uh, from their SA series, SA12s, SA10s, and from their X series, X12 V2s, and, you know, I just said, well, for the price, I don't think they can really be beat. You know, that's just my personal opinion. I'm a Sundown fanboy, so I'm going to talk them up to high heaven, but, so I just went ahead, and, you know, I don't want something really um, excessively expensive like the Z or Nightshade series. Um, so I just said, hey, let's try the X15. Because I wanted something that could get close to 212s, but not take up the space of 212s, if that makes any sense. I'm in regards to output. But anyways, it does excellent. Um, I'd say it could, you know, legitimately reach down to probably 16, 17 hertz with, you know, some authority. Anything below that is just kind of just air moving without really hearing or feeling anything. But, um... I mean, it does really well. It's quick, punchy, and my favorite part is, I mean, it'll scare the shit out of you when something blows up or some creepy thing, you know, comes bursting out of the wall in a movie. I mean, it'll make you shit your pants for the most part, so. Anyways, don't want to talk your ears off. Let me go ahead and, oops, excuse me, uh, play this test tone for you, so. And you really won't see much excursion till probably about 40 hertz, if that. I have it box tuned pretty low, and I got um, all the LFE settings really low on the amplifier. And again, you don't see much excursion, but you can hear quite a bit of stuff rattling around the house. That's 15 hertz right there. 10 hertz. And 5 hertz. So, nothing too in depth. I just kind of wanted to really just show you it moving. But like I said, you know, it's not the most technic not technologically advanced subwoofer. You know, not the prettiest thing. You know, it's quite bulky. But it was kind of a DIY. DIY project, so to speak, and you know, I think it turned out decent for the most part. And I mean, when shit blows up, the neighbors feel it, put it that way. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching.